Hello YouTubers, the new Time Travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another video review, and today I'm doing another family movie review. This time, I'm going to review Rugrats Go Wild. This is a very awesome movie. Yes, I love it. It's fantastic. Anyway, before we get to the review, I just want to give a quick shout out to Leah Baker. Leah Baker, your videos are super awesome. Keep up the good work. And for those of you who don't know who Leah Baker is, make sure to check out her channel on YouTube. She is fantastic. Okay, let's get on to this week's review. Now, there are some cast changes to the film. And only one of them. Even Nancy Cartwright is the new voice of Chucky. Kristen Kavanaugh wasn't reprised the role in the f third movie because she was unavailable at the time. So, and it was the first movie to use a crossover reference, Meet the Wild Th Thornberries. Similar like other crossovers, like the Jetsons meet the Flintstones. Yeah. Or even like Scooby-Doo meets Dino Mutt. I mean, Dino Mutt. Yeah, some sort of. Dino Mutt. Yeah. So, in this story, Tommy dreams about being like Nigel Thornberry. So, they set sail on the ransackle boat that's still rented instead of the lip shit's cruise. But they're supposed to be going. Stu wanted to impress everyone, but they was blamed Stu for causing this all to happen. So Angelica starts to cheer things off by singing the machine, but the karaoke was dropped and Cynthia was brought into the ocean and began to cry. So they start arguing about who should be the leader. So Betty draws a circle around and tells anyone to step out of the circle. And all feel better except for Stu. So the Thornberries are out filming a clouded leopard. The baby set off to find him. They're expected to find Nigel Thornberry. However, a big old like a coconut knocks him out and turns into like a child, like a, a toddler thing, like thing. A Tarzan-like child, Donnie, and switch clothes, switch clothes with Chucky, and gets lost. Eliza gives the Thornberry exploring about the jungle and runs into Spike, the Pickles family dog. So Eliza can talk to the animals for the first time informs that the babies are lost somewhere. Eliza and Darwin made a mistake thinking Spike's lost puppies until Spike tells the human babies. Eliza and Darwin realize they didn't make a mistake again like the wild thornberry. Nigel Falls finds the lost baby and tempts but he receives amnesia. Angelica goes by Antiki and the island princess ran into Debbie Thornberry while takes off. While not paying attention, the two girls sink in, in a convy. So, even that, Tommy, Chucky, Phil and Lil, and Susie were all ups were upset, but Tommy find them to get the families are being reunited once more. So, Marianne Thornberry rescued the convy and lifts it up into the water. And they are reunited. And then, with the families, and they all going to aboard the cruise. Okay, so, um, my opinions on Rugrats Go Wild. It's a very funny and a 
all family heartwarming movie. It is fantastic to watch. I've seen this movie three times, and you cannot go wrong with this movie. This is extremely awesome film. And how do I rate this movie? Five out of t five out of five. Yes, this is a great good movie to watch. Let's take a look on the DVD cover. Here's the Rugrats, the Wild Thornberries. Fantastic. Maybe the best Rugrat Adventures ever, says Jim Ferguson, Fox TV. Here's the spine and the back. A perfect family film full of fun and plenty of laughs. And yes, um, special features, three deleted, deleted songs, outtakes, alternate ending, Behind the scenes featurette, Rugrats Go Wild game, and also includes both pen and scan and letterbox. It runs from run running time 180 minutes and rated PG for some mild crude humor. Here's the DVD of Rugrats Go Wild. Here's Tommy, Chucky, Dill. Angelica, Phil and Lil, Kimmy, and here's Donnie, Eliza, Debbie, Nigel, and Marianne. Um, the voice of Debbie is voiced by um, Daniel Harris from Halloween 4. And um, the girl... Yeah, Eliza Thornberry, voiced by Elisa Chellingberg from Party of Five. Hope I said the actress' name right. Am I wrong? Comment down below. And this is the first time that Susie go with the Pickles family. Even though she didn't go in Rugrats in Paris, she has cameo appearances in Rugrats the movie and Rugrats in Paris. So, she going to meet for the first time. Okay, that's it for this family movie. See you next time for the family movie review. And, uh, don't think I have it on VHS yet. So, one day I'll get it. See you next time. Rate, comment, and subscribe.